Hello and welcome back Crash Nation to another episode here with your Hamilton Tigers. NHL 24 is just around the corner people. One month away and we are going to try and finish up this Hamilton Tigers franchise before then. But today in the first bit of this offseason we have a blockbuster we are trying to make happen here. Matthew Boldy, he's had a short term time in Hamilton but I don't know what is going on he just can't play in the playoffs we need to find a way to clear some cap space here make some moves so we are going to try and find a way to get the second pick and we get it here we have the second overall pick Matthew Boldy goes to the New York Rangers the Rangers won the draft lottery so they moved up in the draft and the Rangers, they always go for the big move. And Terrell Connolly or Jock Mato, both, both could be huge players for this franchise. Both are NHL ready. Both are snipers. But Samuel Eves, six foot five. He's also their center left wing. Alf Patterson, this top five is deadly, but when it comes down to it, we need someone that can score goals on the first line. And we just feel that Terrell Connolly could be that guy. Jacques Matteau, Terrell Connolly. Oh, that's a tough one, but we're going with our gut. Terrell Connolly, we feel like he'll be the best fit with Shane Wright. And we have another trade to make here. Getting a third round pick in this draft. And we are going to go with Earl Newberry. Top 6, 6'3. Six, 18 years old. Dominic Hines is also there as well. Brian Bartlett, 6'5, 18 years old. But Newberry, got to go with you. Got your first pick, people. Hugo Savret. Six foot four, eighteen years old. Robinson Domang. Both goalies are there, but we're gonna go with Domang. And let's see who else we have. Silverbird. Possible X factor here. We're gonna take them the fifth round. See if he's a steal. And where did he go? There we go. Six foot five, defenseman there. Nice defensive depth possibility there. And with our last pick in the draft. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. We got Turnbell. Turnbull, I should say. Top four. D-man, seventh round pick. I feel like he could be the steal of the draft. Not too many picks this draft, but definitely some heavy swings. So hopefully this draft class can turn out pretty well for us. As we have some free agents here to work out. Who's coming back? Chromiak, Harrison, AHL Squad, Jarventi, uh, Lawrence, Maldo's trainer will bring back. And all sure will bring back. Mytovic, sure. Uh, Lion, yeah, why not? Pedal, maybe Drapo. Give him one more season. Squires, no, probably gonna let you go, my guy. Don't turn it into anything. A lot of these guys just aren't growing in the AHL like we want them to. Unfortunately, Yaraventi came up clutch in the playoffs for us, so we'll give him a shot, see what he can do. Uh, Dubois, 31 years old. Doesn't want too much money. So I think we might give him a two or three year deal. See if he wants to come back on that. See if we can give him boom, 6.3. How about that? McLeod. We'll see if we can sign in free agency. Uh, RFA's let or left. No, I think we'll let those guys walk. And no UFAs that we really want to bring back right now. Come on. 
who is coming back. All right. Well, he is excited to come back. New Hook. New Hook wants over $10 million. My goodness. Timo Meyer, 9.3. Fiala, Boatwist, Reslich, Berkowski. We, we just don't have the draft space. Uh... We're not going to be making any big signings here. This free agency people. We only have seven mil in cap. We got a couple moves to make. Uh, Scott Lawton. He could be someone to replace Lowry, who has retired. Goudreau could be a nice third, fourth line of force. Braden Shen, veteran presence. Vladi Pov wants to be a highest paid goalie, or Ettinger, I should say, eight point seven. Dostal. I feel like that could be a nice surprise signing for us. Goalie depth could be huge. And Shane Wright, his contract is coming up next season, so we want to try and sign him right now. He wants to get paid. He wants $10.9 million on a two-year deal. Uh, he wants $16 million for eight years. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he has not even had a 90-point season for this franchise, so I don't want to pay him that much money. Would like to lock him in long-term, let him retire Hamilton Tider, because he is the first captain for Hamilton to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, but maybe we do a bridge deal. Maybe do a four-year... 11... What are we going to do, 11.8? Three year twelve, four year twelve. All right, maybe five. All right, no, we'll do that. Four years, just over twelve million. Shane Wright, he's going to get paid. People, Miranov, yeah, we'll sign you. And the goalie we just drafted, people are trying to trade for already. That's not going to happen. Andrew Manchapani. A trade offer there. No, we're not going to make that. Dostal, welcome on board. Get that goalie depth going, people. That is huge. Uh, Miranov, perfect. Excited to see what he can do for the Tigers next season. Uh, Demand, no, we're not going to make that trade. Shane writes, there we go. He is going to be a Tiger for four more years. Just over $12 million a year. This guy's gonna be loaded. My goodness. Well, he's gonna have to start playing. Uh, Alright, as we look at trade block here, anyone that we can try and trade for? No one that really sticks out to us yet. Buffalo, not anyone there. Calgary, just draft picks, nothing major. Carolina, nothing. Chicago, maybe Dylan Strom. Might think about making a trade for Devin Taves. I think we might just go for home in the free agency next year. Uh, Hedge. No. Samuelson. No. Nothing really too major here. Uh, Edmonton. No. Sam Bennett. Maybe. Anderson, maybe we might someone go after like that. Minnesota Wild, Tage Thompson, the former two-year tighter. Disappointing he was. We overpaid and he just did not produce. Uh, Montreal, nothing. Nashville, nothing. New Jersey, no, nothing stands out. Uh, Magipani. He's getting paid by New Jersey. Uh, New York, nothing. Ottawa, nothing. Rangers all of a sudden think they're contenders now with Matthew Boldy. I mean, if he competes in the Big Apple, congrats, but he just was not a fit. Especially in the playoffs, he just choked super hard for us. Uh, Toronto, nothing. Vancouver, nothing. Vegas, nothing. Nothing in Washington. Winnipeg. But, I'm trying to look at the NHL records here. 
games played, Joe Thornton beats out his uh, best friend, Patrick Marlowe. Mark Andre Fleury, second all time. Goals, Alexander Ovechkin, first. Sidney Crosby, second in points. 1956. He's still playing. He has not retired yet. Can he reach the 2,000 point mark? That would be nuts. Uh, Seth Crosby's third. Trying to pass Ron Vances for second. Wins. Mark andre Fleury second. With 610. And Ad Belfort. Orlando. Waugh. Fleury. Brodeur. All Canadian goalies. Leading the records there. 50 goal seasons. Alex Sylvester has a 10 of them. 100 point seasons. Connor McDavid's up there with already in the top five. That's free agents here. Tupari. I feel like he could be a solid third, fourth liner option for us. And pretty cheap option. See if he wants to come on board. Ryan McLeod. He's been with Hamilton since the beginning. See if we can offer him a little bit here. 1.8. Uh, Max Domi could be another good third, fourth liner option for us. Nice veteran presence, some toughness. Uh, he's gone to Detroit, unfortunately. Uh, demand. Oh my, people just keep on wanting to trade for him. It's not going to happen. Not right now, anyway. Ryan McLeod, Parry goes to Nashville. Really? Alright. Like, we won the cup a year ago. It's not like we're that bad. People just don't trust the Hamilton Tigers can win another cup. Well, they're going to regret that decision. Scott Lawton. That's a nice replacement for Adam Lowry right there. Same kind of player. Uh, Andrew Peach. No, we're not going to take you back. Sorry. St. Louis, you wanted him. Trent Fedrick. That's also another nice depth piece there for replacing Adam Lowry. All right. Come on, Tigers. Getting their bite back in our team. All right, looking at free agency signings here. Cal Peterson goes to Toronto. Ettinger back to Pittsburgh. Uh, Russ to Vancouver. Matthew Joseph to Washington on a three year deal. Ryan Donato to Edmonton. Ryan Ellis to Carolina. Kubulit to Calgary. Uh, Kapari, Nashville, Boo, Ryan O'Reilly in Vancouver. Montour to Arizona. Rossi to Colorado. Carolina size Ladipov. Uh, Quentin Musty. Trying to get an offer sheet. Dawson Mercer to Columbus. Adam Pellet to LA. Johnny Gaudreau to two year deal. Rupe Hans to the Islanders. Uh, Nugent Hopkins back to Edmonton. Kuznets off to Toronto with Brett Pesci. Uh, Toronto's signing some guys. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, this Tiders team can hold up here in year number nine. My goodness. Sam Steele. Mm, no, it's okay. We're not going to make that trade. No... No. Yeah, no. I didn't make that trade either. My goodness. How good is this goalie? Everyone seems to want to trade for him. We still have, have Anisimov there too. Uh, Turnbell. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. We're just drafted. We're not going to be trading away. Uh, Montreal wants them too. What is going on? Uh, Stevenson. No. Ryan Graves for Bettini. Uh, that's something that you might want to think about near the trade deadline. See how the team's looking. Uh, nope. No, thank you. The Meeks. Oh, we, everyone wants this guy. We're just, just not willing to trade him just yet. Like, everyone back off. Especially with, we're not taking on 6 million cap hit. Are you kidding me? It makes no sense for us. All right, as we get ready to kick off the year, Terrell Connolly, he's battling his way for NHL spot. He looks like he's NHL already already. This guy's going to be a machine. 
Don't know about you guys, but I feel like he could break the rookie record for Hamilton for goals, assists, and points. Uh, we do have some AHL holes to fill. Uh, so Tazamaki, see if he can play that number one center role. And for Alarm, get some defensive depth up there. Stillman. Let's see if he can be a nice depth piece uh, for some injuries. Botoon and Schmidt. Tulumovich. Schmidt. Yeah, Schmidt. Uh, Stranges. Yeah, we'll try and get you on there too. Uh, Carson Lambos. Yes, sir. All right, and looking at the draft class here in your number nine. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything too special out of the gates. All right, top ten. Not looking too impressive this year. So good thing we jumped on the number two overall pick in that blockbuster trade. But looks like it should be a pretty even. This is Zachary Kristinovich. Might be someone interesting. Jesper Johansson. Brian Nakamura. Someone to keep an eye on is Roll Denon Prospect. But Tommy Tarpanen. He is going to be making his NHL debut this season. The 22 year old coming in looking to try and steal Jeremy Swayman's starting job this season. Swayman had his worst season as a Tiger last year. He stepped it up during the playoffs, though. That's the reason why he's still on the team. But his job is not guaranteed. All right. And kind of looking at career milestones here, what to look out for. Shane writes he could be reaching the 500-point season total in his career this season. Uh, Jamie Drysdale, Studnika, what's he at? He could be hitting 300. He's had a pretty solid season in Hamilton. Not too bad. He's a late bloomer, but he's finding his way here and with the Tigers. Samuel Gerard could have career goal 100. He is someone that also could be on the move if we don't do well. Michael Misa looking for career point 200 this season. The 22 year old. In his fifth season now in the NHL, Jack Quinn, a franchise leader in goals, looking for 300 points on his career. Dubois, he's looking for 600, and he just signed him a three-year deal, so he's looking to prove what he can do here. He's been all over the place for Canada. Louis Allman, we're hoping a big breakout year for him. Yakupov as well. See if he can get 100 career goals. He's just been huge. Three seasons in the NHL, over 20 goals. Can he go for four straight 20 goal seasons? Braden Schneider, goal scoring machine from the blue line last year. And rookie staters, Misa, you're not a rookie. You don't know why you're in there. EA Sports did it together. But Mirnov and Connolly, seeing what these guys can do, it's going to be a fun fun year for Hamilton. We will see you guys next time. Until then, we're signing off. Bye, people.